From the heart of the limestone city in Kingston, Ontario, I'm Rebecca Fryer with Kingstonist News. Here's what's making headlines today, April 22nd, 2022. Kingston police have released video footage and an image of a suspect who removed a catalytic converter from a truck parked in a lot on John Counter Boulevard on April 11th. According to police, the suspect was captured on security video leaving the scene just before 11.30 p.m. on a motorcycle with a stolen catalytic converter from a Ford 550 pickup truck. Police say the suspect appears to be white and was wearing a dark colored jacket, light colored pants and beige or brown footwear with a two-tone black and white helmet with a clear visor. The motorcycle the suspect was riding appears to be a sport style bike with two toned blue and white colored graphics on either side of its fairing. Anyone with information on this theft or who recognizes the suspect or the bike is asked to contact Kingston Police. A reminder that you can leave tips anonymously by calling the Kingston Police main line and simply asking to remain anonymous. A COVID-19 outbreak has been declared on Level 2 at Providence Transitional Care Centre after three patients tested positive for the virus. The declaration will be in place for at least 10 days and will mean that residents and staff are retested for COVID-19 on a set schedule. The Correctional Service of Canada says that an inmate died at Bath Institution's Regional Treatment Center on April 19th. According to the CSC, William Gordon Fell was 51 years old and died from natural causes. Fell had been serving an indeterminate sentence since 2003 for second-degree murder. St. Lawrence College says masks will continue to be required to be worn by anyone accessing the college campus or facilities until further notice, despite dropping a number of other COVID-19 protocols. According to a release from the college, measures like controlled entrances and showing proof of vaccination upon entry are going to be dropped effective Sunday, May 1st. However, masks will still be required. The college says that they will explore whether masking requirements will be required at the end of May in a few weeks. Did you know that it's a provincial election year? Voting will happen in Ontario this summer on June 2nd, and with a tight race predicted, everyone's vote counts. The most important thing that you can do if you live in Ontario and are 18 years or older is ensure that you're able to vote by registering with Elections Ontario and ensuring that your address is listed correctly. You can find a link to more information on exactly how to ensure that you're ready to vote right now up on our website, kingstonist.com. The City of Kingston is collecting batteries at the curb next week. City staff ask you to place any used, single-use household batteries out for collection in a clear sealed plastic bag beside your curbside waste on your regular collection day. The best place for this used bag of batteries is probably on the ground beside your recycling box or next to another curbside waste container where it can be easily seen by a collector. A note that car, tool, and other types of large batteries will not be collected. Batteries can also be dropped off at any time at City Hall, the Invista Centre and the Kingston Area Recycling Centre located on Lappins Lane. And lastly, the South Frontenac Touch the Truck event is back and happening on Wednesday, May 4th. The free, fun event is back after a two-year break and perfectly aligns with Emergency Preparedness Week. Touch the Truck will feature educational information, kids' activities, and of course, lots of big trucks and equipment to explore. The event will take place at the Public Services Facility on Keeley Road in Sydenham from 5 until 7 p.m., and there will be a cash barbecue by donation, with proceeds going to the United Way of KFLNA. They're also asking for food bank donations in support of the Southern Frontenac Community Services Food Bank. For more on these stories and other headlines, or to submit your own news, you can visit kingstonist.com and become a subscriber today. I'm Rebecca Fryer. Have a great one, Kingston.